All right, good morning, good morning, good morning. So we got going today. <laughs> We've got ten. We got Aries. We got the Sun. Completion of the cycle. Rings of communication. Divine feminine. Romance. Maybe the energy felt shaky this morning. Let's see what's going on. Ah, oh, vows, monks and nuns. Someone has some pretty strict spiritual beliefs. This energy carrying with you from past lives. comes to monks and nuns, it's usually something along the lines of celibacy. Ooh, black flower fragrance. I get that's what it is too. It's like a, it's that standoffish energy is giving off the wrong kind of impression. Winds of activation. I know it's so quiet right now. Never really a fan of reading Aries energy. Try to stay away from fire signs. It's my sun, moon, and rising, so.
There's definitely a lot of masks going on here on the 3D here. Definitely got a jack of wands here in the middle. Right? There's the seven of pentacles, right? And it's the appearance of somebody being out in the cold, right? You got this king of pentacles here that's watching all this. This could be the same energies together. That could be what's behind the mask, right? of all that control is actually a jack of wands, right? There's a lot of anxiety, right? Because there's a lot of focus on a queen of pentacles here. See? That somebody's seen behind the mask. There's definitely been a lot of moves, right? Something's happened really quickly, right? Get a Prince of Cups and Magician energy here. There's a lot of thoughts of trying to make something happen, right? Trying to get the Wheel of Fortune turning, right? There's a lot of um, burdens right now, a lot of oppression, right? This is reverse, so that's kind of what they're trying to manifest away from, right? is yeah essentially oppression this is what had me get real quiet because you got the ten of pentacles energy here in the middle and you got the Upright Justice card. But at the same time, you have a reversed Hangman, a reversed Ace of Cups, and then you got the reversed Emperor at the end. So it could definitely be that Aries energy from the beginning. get one yeah I definitely get like this but the appearance of being uh for lack of a better word dead cold-hearted right with that reverse there there's a fall of an empire here right but that's the only way to get to the ten of pentacles right and to get justice because the ten of pentacles I feel like that's the whole thing that's the key to it all what the ten of pentacles right you have to get all the pentacles first before you can get justice. Unfortunately, that is how it works in capitalist countries. All right, let's see. Let's see what the snitches are talking about. Yep. All right. So we got like this scrambled queen of swords here, right? That energy is somebody who speaks in riddles, but is more perceptive than they seem. Yeah. Two of pentacles there. <laughs> seem unbalanced.
Got a Knight of Wands and the Seven of Swords there. Someone who has to overcome, uh, overcome some lies here. Get that Knight of Wands there. That could be a masculine fire sign. Someone who's generally guarded. Ooh. Reverse magician. All right, so this is someone. <laughs> um, I just someone who understands how energy works more than they allow people to know, and someone who has been manipulative in the past. Right, for sure. Are they still manipulative? Oh. I'm going to give you a cross on that, right? you got the cross of these lovers here. Turn the deck around and give you another chance. Got some lies there. Oh, the devil card. Upright. All right, now this person is just straight up entangled into a bunch of shit. So, there's definitely, <laughs> I feel like they're trying to defend themselves right now, alright? So we got the crabs in the buckets here with this five of wands, right? And the three of wands trying to navigate that, right? To find that ten of cups energy, right? That balanced home life energy, right? Why? Because you got the four of wands here, right? That's the stable foundations for our home life, right? And that's the eight of pentacles. That's what the focus is. The end game, anyway. Yes, right. So you got death. They got things they got to leave behind and things they got to move on from. All right. What was the deal with the Queen of Swords? <laughs> Queen of Pentacles feeling Five of Pentacles right now. Uh, this person definitely in their past has what they had the knight of cups they've had dealt with somebody who's been really romantic in their lives and they have the knight of pentacles right they, they've dealt with somebody who was good with money in their lives right I'm saying that because you got the five of cups here behind it so it's like those are the cups that they're focused on that they've spilled before or have spilled their cup you know what I'm saying one of those breakup situations right so that's their baggage there right that's because that's reaping what you sow, good, bad, or otherwise, right? So that's how this works, right? The Seven of Pentacles is reaping what you sow. So whatever has happened here, this person is now reaping what they sow in that position that's making them feel like the Queen of Wands. It can be a feminine fire sign. Yep. 
She's got a lot of Empress energy. I got this image of um, the willow, the woodsman and the willow. It's an Irish folk song. All right, people are waking up, so we gotta hurry up. <laughs> yeah, there's a Leo. This person is coming into a lot of their strengths again. So we definitely got a strong soul connection here, but there's definitely a sort of truth that needs to be swallowed. I like the way I said that, right? All right, so we got the King of Pentacles, right? So we got the masculine energy needs to get in control of finances here, right? I like how the feminine energy has that justice card there for it, right? That's how you're going to bring balance, right, is fighting the Nine of Cups. Which is, we always talk about that's an inner thing, right? That's that one cup in the middle, right? You need to focus on. You can't do anything if your cup is empty, right? That's the rite of passage that everybody needs to go through, right? That is what will open up the world, right? I still, th th there's still a third party situation here. What's the third party situation? There's another masculine energy here, right? There's definitely a lot of passion, right? This person is a little defensive and scared themselves, right? They could be a bit of a knight of swords. Got this six of pentacles, right? They want to have an equal give and take type of relationship, right? There's still some secrets though, right? We got this ace of cups, right? So this person's got a lot, of, a lot of loving energy towards towards who? Which one? Did you never know? <laughs> it's like don't judge, but it's like a feminine card, right? So just place the people where you need to place them. Use your own <laughs> judgment. Ooh, seven of cups okay so this is someone who's the kind of person who drinks from every cup right I feel like this is a manifested ghost from the past, right? Yeah, page of cups reversed. This is someone, ooh, who can do that? I get love bomb right here. The six of cups, right? That six of wands, they know how to get over, right? There's a lot of focus on money here. Seven of Wands. This is someone, I just, I get the feeling they feel like they've won some sort of game, right? They've, like, this, like, this 
This wheel, unfortunately, feels like such an oppressive one. That's what I got, when, especially when I was coloring it. I've never noticed that before, right? This page of pentacles, right? The cow, she just scribbled over the money. There's definitely towers happening here. Yeah, Page of Wands and Temperance at the end. There's that Sagittarius card. <clears throat> We're going to end that story in there with the Queen of Cups there with the Two of Swords. So there's a Queen of Cups here at the end that needs to make a decision here when it comes to this. On this side, okay, that dog is snoring away. On this side, it talks a lot about. I get six of cups. So it's a lot about looking at the past here, but there's a lot of stuff that still needs to be moved on from, and there's skills that need to be put into play there, right, to move on from these energies because they're entrapping. Oh, upright emperor there at the end. All right, so... This storyline is like a collapse of one empire. I'm not sure what this sad story is going on over here. That makes sense to somebody, I'm sure. But there's definitely side energy there. Beginning energies that we got going on here. I feel like that that's what this is all about, right? There's that third party there on the side that's waiting for, you know, whatever. But there's a winds of activation and change going on here. I get with that tower, too, that it's like feeding the fuel of this fire. All right. Do you got anything to say before we go? Remember, you can always walk away. The game ends when you stop playing. Alright, so we got... Rooted here. Remain rooted. Get the friendship cards here. Focus on your friendships. Resilience there with that lotus. I love how the lotus, uh, you know, the story with that is it always has to grow up through the mud and then through the water before it can reach the surface like a lily. Trust your instincts there. Follow your dreams. Trust your dreams. Pay attention to your dreams. There is challenges while climbing the mountain. Alrighty. Blessed be all those who walk these weird and winding paths with me. I love y'all and um I'll get back to you later.